In this video, we'll take a look at the two different operating modes for the RED 4 Pre, Thunderbolt mode and Pro Tools HD mode. Changing what mode the interface is in can be done from both the front panel and from within Focusrite control. Whenever the mode is changed, the 4 Pre will automatically restart. Thunderbolt mode. Firstly, let's set up the 4 Pre in Thunderbolt mode with Logic Pro X. Simply open Logic, then navigate to the Preferences, Audio menu, and here select Focusrite Thunderbolt as both the input and output device. A useful trick here is to enable Logic to use the input channel names from the driver. To do this, go to Mix, I.O. Labels, and then select all of the inputs while holding the Shift key. Then click in the Provided by Driver column. Now simply create a new track, select the input that you'd like to record from, and click Record. In Thunderbolt mode, the RED 4 Pre works with any door besides Pro Tools HD, including non-HD versions of Pro Tools. Please note that non-HD versions of Pro Tools have an input and output channel restriction of 32. This means that only the first 32 inputs and outputs on the RED 4 Pre will be available in Pro Tools when using Thunderbolt mode. Pro Tools HD mode. To use the RED 4 Pre with a Pro Tools HD system, you'll first need to connect to the system using the mini DigiLink connectors on the rear panel. In this video, we're using an Avid HD native system. Now set the RED 4 Pre to Pro Tools mode. In Pro Tools mode, the mixing and routing tab in Focusrite control is greyed out and the unit assumes a one-to-one -one output mapping. This means that all output routing must be done in Pro Tools. A table showing the output ordering is available in the product manual. In addition to this, the loopback function is not functional in Pro Tools HD mode. Once everything is connected, open Pro Tools and navigate to the Setup Playback Engine. Select HD Native as the device, then click OK. The Setup Hardware tab will show the RED 4 Pre as four AVID HD I.O. units. The parameters in this window are based on the digital connections on an HD I.O. unit. This window is auto-configured and does not need to be changed. Then go to Setup, I.O. In this menu, the RED 4 Pre's inputs and outputs will appear in banks of 16. Please note that there are only 58 inputs on the RED 4 Pre, though 64 will show in this window. The final four inputs are unused. If you've been using other interfaces with your session and some of the labeling is incorrect, clicking default on the input, output and bus tabs in turn should fix this. If you create a new audio track, you can now record from the inputs on the RED 4 Pre. Since the unit is now operating in Pro Tools mode and the mixing and routing tab is disabled in Focusrite control, it's necessary to do any output routing from within Pro Tools. For example, the first headphone output corresponds to outputs 3 and 4 in Pro Tools, and the second headphone output corresponds to outputs 5 and 6. Sends can be used to route each individual or group of tracks to these outputs, and master faders can be added to control the overall volume. 